Hello friends, Radhika Ravikuma here. So welcome back. In this tutorial, we'll continue with our SED type 2. So in the previous tutorial, we have seen how to create the insert flow for our SED type 2. So I have already explained you what is the process that happens in this SED type 2 insert flow. So we are just, you know, uh, dragging and dropping whatever is there, the records that are present in our source to target with an extra field called flag and a key and also I told you why we can't make use of an ID in our ID as our primary key in our target and we can use only key as our primary key we have seen why it is so and uh, now what we'll do is we will uh, create an update flow for a CD type 2 so update flow is nothing but uh, very simple we are just going to check whether that respective record is present if that uh, respective record is present we are going to make the changes in the flag and uh, update it and insert the new record uh, as per our uh, source so that's what is our update uh, flow is going to contain so to do uh, to you know in order to create an update uh, flow just uh, drag and drop the exact same thing the source and target again once again so here is our source and our target make sure the same source and target has been dragged and dropped in your mapping so you can see my source and target is ready so for this first of all we are going to make use of a um, transformation called a lookup transformation that is because uh, we are going to uh, you know, look up to our target it's not our source we are going to uh, select our target as our lookup because uh, sorry I select the wrong database click here and select your target that is SCD2 so this is because we are going to check whether the key is present the whatever the key is going to come from the whatever the ID that is going to come from this uh, source we are going to check whether that respective ID is present in our target or not if it is present then we are going to do the updation as we know so that's why I am going to you know create the lookup based on our target uh, database make sure you are creating the lookup based on a target database okay that's very important so now let me change the data type here to decimal because our source is having our decimal type okay so that uh, we will have that compatibility while uh, comparing our well, comparing the conditions okay just say okay so it's decimal you can see our id is also decimal so ju just drag and drop the id column from our source qualifier to our lookup then double click go to conditions create a new condition here uh, the condition is going to be id that is that this id is coming from our target you can see it here that that target id is equal to id1 id1 is nothing but our source id1 just apply okay make sure your data types and all is uh, proper if not you will be having some problem your mapping will go invalid so that's it the our lookup is ready so once after this uh, lookup transformation you need to create an expression transformation in order to hard code our uh, letter for our flag because here as we saw in our insert flow we had created an expression where we had uh, hard coded our you know uh, letter as y for newly inserted records now we are going to do the updation right for our updation as i said whenever the location is being changed we need to keep the present record uh, sorry we need to keep the history record and as well as the present record for the history record we need to uh, give some uh, you need to change the flag value right for that we need to use a expression transformation here is our expression transformation just click here so what you are going to do is for our expression transformation we are going to drag and drop the the we are going to drag and drop this key okay before that we are going to um, yeah we are going to drag and drop this key field to our expression transformation only that is the only thing that we are going to drag and drop to our expression then double click on the expression transformation then create a new port called um, 
O underscore flag and this is output port here go to the expression editor and uh, hard code it with n because while updating we are going to say n no no is the letter for our history records say ok apply ok so our expression transformation is also ready now we are just going to uh, what, are, what we are going to do is we need to update the record right for that for updating we need to make use of another transformation called uh, update strategy transformation that is somewhere over here yeah update strategy transformation drag and drop these two field to our update strategy double click on it go to properties instead of uh, here update strategy expression instead of 0 just uh, say dd underscore update so you guys must be knowing about these dd update dd insert and all so if you know if you don't know just go back and uh, refresh your knowledge on scd type 1 the even there also have uh, i guess have told you about dd update and all just say dd update apply ok that is it our uh, update flow is also ready just drag and drop your key to our key column and uh, flag column so that it will compare it based on the key field ok and then it will update your flag that is it our update flow is ready so this is what is about our update and uh, insert flow for our SCD type 2. So what we are going to do is we are going to create a workflow for this and run it. So before that very important thing that we need to uh, remember before running this uh, mapping we need to make sure in our first place which mapping should be which flow should run first whether you should be running the insert flow or is the update flow so what happens is in our initial stage uh, first of all in our initial stage the update flow should run first because when you say insert obviously all the records will get inserted and then it goes and checks our update so again while while seeing the update it will it will make all the records the all the flag to n so that should not be happening right so for that sake first of all the update um, flow should run first and then the insert flow so what exactly happens is in the first stage whenever the source file is given to our mapping it will uh, first check whether that respective key is present obviously the key will not be present in our first stage right so everything will fail that is all the uh, no flag will be null that is it then it will go to our insert flow and insert all the records ok so this is what happens in our first uh, run second run again few records you know new records will be coming up at that time it will um, check whether any of the records are present if the record is present then obviously that flag will be updated to n no, rather than you know updating the all the records to n then it goes to insert and will insert the new records so that's how it happens so make sure you are running the update flow first and then the insert flow in order to make that changes just go to here there's something called uh, go to mapping you can see target load plan go to target load plan and make sure that your this target that is target scd21 this is our update flow right so that needs to be on the top and the insert flow needs to be in the last so that the first update flow will run and then the insert uh, flow will run okay so here you can see our update flow is at the last so let me make it first so i have made it first this is to you know make it uh, move the you can see here if you place the cursor over here you can see the move the selected uh, selected group down so it will move it down so you can make it up now you can see our scd that is target scd21 is our the first thing that's going to be executed that's our update flow you can compare it over here the this one and here the target one and the insert flow is having the target scd2 so that's at the last so say okay 
our target load plan is also ready now we need to create a mapping uh, sorry workflow for this just say generate workflow just click next 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 and your workflow will be created now let us go to our workflow and see how we can execute this and uh, see the result also what i'm going to do is i'll just uh, you know show you the how the result is going to be uh, is going to be like in our next tutorial as we are running short of time so hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and understood completely regarding the insert and the update flow with any queries then please do mail me to plsql.informatica@gmail.com and please keep supporting and liking my videos and uh, thank you very much for watching